When you're out hiking after a long day and all you want to do is get clean, well, here's our friend. And we are above the cloud layer. A little bit of a clip. Watch your footing. Welcome to Sweller Van Dweller. I'd love to say it's a beautiful morning here in Fernie, BC, but it rained yesterday evening and even overnight, so it's a bit wet. And right now it's completely overcast and totally fogged in, but it's not supposed to rain anymore and hopefully will clear up around noon. So we're gonna go for a hike up Mount Proctor. One thing about mornings like this after rain is that everything just smells so super fresh. It's awesome. It's funny along the trail, there's this sign showing uh, home sites available and you are here, right in the middle of it. And uh, I can remember coming here quite a few years ago and this sign was here. And thankfully, always still got our trees. Beautiful. You know what? There doesn't have to be houses everywhere. Some places we can just keep as pure nature. When you're out hiking after a long day and all you want to do is get clean and take a bath, well, look at what you find right in the middle of the forest. The lower half of this trail is crisscrossed by mountain bike trails. So mountain bikers are interesting folks and we might find some interesting artifacts along the trail. Well, here's our friend at the end of the mountain bike trails. We've gained 500 meters of elevation in about an hour, 15 minutes, and it's still really foggy. I hope the forecast holds true and this clears up around noon and we get a nice view from the summit. It's been just over an hour and a half and I'm just starting to come out of the trees and you know what? I can actually see the sun. So hopefully it's starting to clear up. It would be pretty amazing considering what it was like this morning. We're about halfway up and check this out. The clouds are heavy down below, but look at higher. My friends, it's either clearing up or we're gonna climb above the cloud layer. Oh my gosh, look at this. I can see my shadow. That is a good sign. Well, my friends, we have climbed almost a kilometer above where we started this morning, and we are above the cloud layer. Look at that, absolutely amazing. Looks like we've got another 2.5 kilometers and 440 meters vertical gain to get to the summit. Coming up to the ridge, and look at this bench. The Crown Lookout. Oh man, what a view. Look at that. Wow. I wonder if that's the summit bump way over. Starting to get some amazing views. the ridge and kind of came around the corner and now it looks like we can get a glimpse of the summit or well the false summit I don't know I think it's the true summit hopefully now that I get a better look at the uh, final bit of summit ridge I think it might get a little interesting there might be some uh, hardcore scrambling up there Final pitch of 
Summit Ridge. This is it guys, the final few meters, Mount Proctor. Wow, it's a beauty up top here. Amazing, what a day. So glad I came up. It's even starting to clear up down below. You know, with the rain pattering on the van roof all night and then waking up to complete fog and overcast, I almost bailed. But you know, I think it's worth doing some summit sharing wisdom. And here it is, so listen carefully, it's good. You won't know if you don't go. It's true. It doesn't always work out. It could have been bad up here. But you know what? It worked out. We got above the cloud, and it's a beautiful day. And I would have never known had I not given it a shot. You gotta try. If you have to turn back, you gotta turn back. There's such a beautiful flat spot just below the summit here. It seems like they couldn't resist helicoptering a picnic table up here for us. Now that we've crested the summit, we're gonna continue along the ridge for a little bit and create a loop out of this. But we're just gonna go down into the valley and follow that all the way back. Along the path there are all these really cool cracks in the rock. Kind of, sort of, almost a cave. Getting lower. Almost into the valley bottom here. A little bit of a clip. Watch your footing. Wow, so I don't know if the summit is actually in the clouds now or if still above the clouds. Well below Proctor now. Cliff bands above me. It's up there somewhere. Wow, this trail is seriously getting difficult to follow. It kind of goes in between this cabbage and then goes into the stream bed for a while with the stones, which is very clear. But the problem is it doesn't stay in there. You can see it going back into the cabbage every so often. And uh, you don't just want to bomb down the creek because at one point it might go into the cabbage and never meet the uh, creek again. And then you'll be totally off route in for an epic. So anyways, I gotta be sharp. Gotta keep my eyes open. Well, sure enough, after crisscrossing the rocky drainage a few times and staying in it for a while, there was a barely detectable trail <laughs> leaving it into the cabbage, going hard left and traversing into the forest. I am getting tired. And had I not been ultra on the ball, I would have had my eyes on the ground so as to not roll an ankle on the stones and completely missed it and been heading down the creek bed now down that drainage and it would have taken me way off course I wonder how many people have actually done that I, I imagine it's uh, happened to a few maybe if you check the GPS track soon enough you'll realize that you're off track but uh that would be a big epic yo whoa got a call out for uh bears because uh on the drive out here a big black bear lumbered across the road better safe than sorry 
Whoa, look at that. Six kilometers from the trailhead. They know you're getting tired. So uh, they put a picnic table. And what a view. Mercy me. Yeah, baby. Well, I'm making use of that picnic table. I mean, they did all that work to uh, helicopter it in here, probably. But uh, you know what? I'm just observing. Do you know how hard it must have been for the first people to make this trail? I mean, look at this cabbage just off of the trail. It's so thick. It's insane. It would be crazy trying to machete through that. What do we have here? Looks like a toad. Toad or a frog, I don't know. Super camo. I've made it down to Ferry Creek, deep in the valley. Now all that's left is uh, about five kilometers back to the trailhead. As you can see, it turned out to be a fantastic day, despite that gloomy start. So just remember this episode's summit sharing wisdom. You won't know if you don't go. So if you don't just think I'm some sort of crazy lunatic, then I'd be humbled if you would consider subscribing my channel and giving the video a thumbs up. It's the only way you can support me and let me know you like what I'm doing and you want me to continue. Bye for now.